Hi, Patrick Hicks here, and today we're going to be looking at welding. So when welding thick plate, in this instance Hardox 400, there's many steps involved in a successful weld. The process begins with preheating. Most often performed with a rosebud torch, it's vital to heat the steel to within 300 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on plate thickness. It's important to verify this temperature with a digital gauge. Then once the area to be welded has been preheated to a sufficient temperature, it's now ready to weld. The wire used in this application is a 1 16th inch ESAB T5 dual shield wire, which Craig keeps on a dedicated portable welder around our shop to avoid having to change between different styles of wire. Throughout welding, the preheated temperature must periodically be checked. If the temperature of the steel has fallen below the desired preheat, it must be reheated before continuing, or you'll risk cracking on the weld and the steel. After each pass, peening is done on the weld, shown here with an air or a needle peener. What this does is descales the pass of weld and prepares it for the following pass. Then after welding is complete, cooling of the weld joint needs to be performed gradually. This is frequently done with the use of fiberglass insulation and is ideally done at 100 degrees per hour. Then once cooled down, the welded joint can then be inspected with different NDT methods. The most common method performed at Craig is with the use of dye penetrants. Got one, son. <laughs> <laughs> 